thing. I'm an investor, we're developers, we buy apartments and we buy multifamily, we buy added value buildings. But in your market, it's a very different market in, in terms of what is available in California compared to the Riviera into that market. And what I see is one of them is if, if there's an article out there, if you Google the Riviera uh, wellness market in the last seven years, you will see that it has doubled in terms of, uh, of, of, of demand and has doubled in terms of uh, growth for that market. So hello everyone. Welcome back again to this space on real estate investments. I'm super glad today to introduce you a good friend I, I like to call him like that. Uh, he's mm -hmm. part of a huge family uh, that I belong right. to. And it's my honor to introduce you to Jose Velman. Jose is in, uh, in California right now. And he's managing or he's a member and founder manager of Capital Homes Investment LLC. Uh, they're focused on uh, real estate investment in multi-properties, apartments, and he has been, I mean, he has an experience of 20, 20, uh, 22 years in this area, and uh, he's also a member of the Monterrey Peninsula Chamber of, Com of Commerce, an avid reader, and a good, good fellow brother uh, from a huge family, as I said. Jose Belmont, thank you very much for being here today with me and talk about what you think about the market down here in the Riviera Maya and what is your vision about investing in, in Mexico? Uh, well, first of all, Maria, it's an honor to have you here in this platform. I, I've been invited to these um, platforms many times, and this is the first one I'm in in the international in Mexico. I've done them in Argentina and Israel, uh, a few other places in uh, Japan, but this is the first time in my backyard. And I feel a little bit uh, not being too kind of doing it in my backyard that quick. So it's an honor to be here. I, um, and thanks for the intro. And there's so much I could tell you about your market. I was pondering on it last night and I was thinking of so many things that the possibilities and the opportunities that is in your area right this moment because, um, and I'll keep it brief because there's so much we could talk about this, but the main thing, I'm an investor, we're developers, we buy apartments and we buy multifamily, we buy added value buildings. But in your market, it's a very different market in, in terms of what is available in California compared to the Riviera into that market. And what I see is one of them is if, if there's an article out there, if you Google the Riviera uh, wellness market in the last seven years, you will see that it has doubled in terms of, uh, of, of, of demand and has doubled in terms of uh, growth for that market. Uh, what does that tell me? That tells me that tourist buildings, properties that are in the wellness market has a high potential for a great exit or an opportunity for investors like myself who are looking to place capital in other markets where you could diversify. Not only diversify, but if I had to put my money today, where would I put it at? You're in the coastal cities out there in Mexico. You are in, I believe, in Playa del Carmen, I believe, but yeah. there's but there's other areas all, all in the coast that, given that the pandemic did everybody a favor in, in an opposite way, talking business way, just recently, I was reading an article that San Francisco lost a good portion of population and a lot of people from Canada, people from the moved and have bought real estate in your area and they're continuously to do that the reason why i would say this is a good market is because number one you have opportunity there where your money could be established on a hard asset and not only that 
it is in a, a coastal market. Coastal markets are very different than your traditional property you buy in the Midwest, like in the US. I'll give you an example, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. We have properties in Oklahoma and it's in the middle of America. And when the market uh, goes in an upwind, upswing, everything goes great in the coastal markets. When things go down, and as we think it is, the coastal markets still sustain that. And that's where you're at right there. That is my, my two cents on it, Maria, because there's something that's amazing out there. And another thing, you got uh, the type of uh, criteria for your type of, uh, let's call them uh, tenants or people that are going to live there. I think if I did my math correctly, you it's almost even greater return than your typical Airbnb because here in California, we do have Airbnb, but do we have a lot of tenancy laws? Those tenancy laws are like making it difficult for us to grow our money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of the challenges. Exactly. And you in here in Mexico, you don't have that. <laughs> you don't have that. No, here in Mexico is like uh, vaccine free and a lot of stuff free. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I love free stuff. <laughs> exactly. I mean, and, and the other thing I was talking earlier uh, this morning, that I, and the other things is that affordability, affordability here is, uh, is something that is really appealed for Americans and Canadians right now since you are having this inflation phenomenon and you know like the, the real estate market is not like really stable and you are swinging you are in the peak right now and maybe you're gonna swing down and right. and here um since the pandemic is like we're swinging up rather than right. down so i think I mean, that's why we're, we are aiming to not just deliver any product where we are aiming to deliver wellness properties. Uh, they're focused on creating communities and not only that, but they are in commercial areas. So when you want to resell your property, it's easier for you. And then we are also looking after the, the environmental impact that, that this construction has here in the jungle. So it's an, an, it's an holistic business. I, I like to, to call it that way. What do, you, what do you know about wellness properties and what's going on on wellness market over there in, 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 in California? California and or the U.S. Um, here's what I know about the wellness, and actually, uh, it came on the on my radar uh, at a uh, before the pandemic actually. And uh, I apologize, I haven't known that for a long time. Is because I'm in the multifamily real estate, very traditional model, right? You buy a a building with uh, either steel or wood frame or very traditional uh, section eight unit, a roof, pitch roof, and really basic material. And it came into my attention, the wellness in uh, March of 2019, actually. And I said, what is that? I started looking into it. And there was two things that came on my mind. Wellness, the word wellness was the, uh, the type of a, a, a property that they have. And you could correct me if I'm wrong, Maria. One of them was the... Uh, the fact that the the type of structure that they are they're building these buildings is that correct? And so, in California, in my area, it's going really heavily in that market. Why? Material is very expensive. Two number two is environment protection. Like they're looking into how we could protect. And California is really big on that. I don't know if you know this, but California is really big in gas versus energy cars, solar panels. And there's tiny homes being built out here in California. They're all in terms of wellness, terms of material and the status of the properties in the coastal. So that is what I know. And I see that in California. If you capitalize on that type of market now, one of the first ones, contrarians I call it out here, there's a big market in uh in california and i say california because it's a populated area versus go and it's condensed and i think there's a higher probability that 
they could be out there for an investor and build up something out in the metro areas. That's the way I look at it. And I know in your area, in the coastal markets, and you're one of them, you have a huge opportunity right now. Yeah. I don't think I know many operators. Actually, we're working on a beautiful project right now in Tulum. We're, oh, wow. we, we are, we're, we're focused on boutique projects. We don't like, like you, <laughs> like you, right. like your families and stuff, because we think that one of the, the main things about the wellness properties is to create the community, right? So you want to, you know, you want to right. know your neighbors, you want to be close to people that are mind alike. And um, right now we're, uh, this particular project is focused on families because we're uh -huh. gonna have the green school really close to, right? So right. the whole thing is not about only the materials that you use, but it's more about how you, it's more about design and, in, in, and architecture, how to, um, how to build or create spaces that are more healthy or, or, or they create wellness in the people that live in. Because what, mm -hmm. we, what we saw is after the, pan um, with the pandemic is that many times we live in places that are not designed to live in, right? Because right. most uh -huh. of the time you are outside working or whatever, right? But if you need to be inside, it's a low amount of, of light, you know, and there is no uh, good um, air circulation. So wellness architecture, I would like to call it like that, focus on that particular kind of details. Less in the materials, I mean, materials can help a lot, but it's more about the, how you design the house. So I don't know if you guys have something like that over there. Actually, you know, Maria, I think the pandemic had a lot of people started moving out of their condominiums and apartments like in San Francisco, really, because they were they were closed in for almost two years and they figured, hey, if I'm going to live here, I can't go to the normal place I used to. I'm condensed in these four walls. What did we learn? We learned one is Find a place where you have everything you need, your house, your place, your backyard, light. A lot of these apartments, they're, it's just a box and there's really yeah. not much on there. And the wellness, just here, the wellness. I mean, if you are a retiree, as an example, and you may like the sun, like Arizona, they call them snowbirds. They go to the uh, warm states and a lot of them are going to your states now and like mm -hmm. the like uh, Playa del Carmen. They want to have places where they could feel retired and not, not be condensed and just closed in there. And that wellness is the word where it comes. It says that peace of mind, your health, how you're going to live there. If you're going to be boxed in, how is it going to be architect to make it? They should have done this a long time ago. But people oh. were just thinking of the dollars. They're like, it's just a box, a house. But look at, they're already designing them now to this nature. Yeah, it is. It, I mean, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a market that has full potential right now because people is aware, you know, yeah. now we are aware that we need spaces like that. So, so I would like to ask you another thing. What would you recommend for a foreigner that wants to come to Mexico and, and do this kind of, uh, of investment? Number one, immediately go and stay at one of the units get familiarized with the area. You got to experience it. Uh, me as an investor, and I'm telling you from experience, when I buy properties out of California, and I say it like same nature with the way you asked me, I want to feel it. I want to smell it. I want to see it. Because, you know, it's, it's called proximity, the word proximity. Right now, me and you, Maria, we're talking here on this beautiful Zoom. But if we meet and we start understanding each other, there's a big potential. I'll be, I know more about you. If this investor goes and sees this asset investment, that's much more potential. Number two, I'll add on is if you're going to be looking at an, an investment outside of your area, you're an investor from, let's say you're from Canada and you've never even heard of Playa del Carmen or Tulum 
you've seen them on movies. What I would do is reach out to somebody that is already experienced in that market. Research that company, get on a phone call, get in a video call, have them do even a virtual with you, and then look at anything that would give you any peace of mind that you're looking for through that call first. And you start doing it in process. Sometimes these investments, I wish they were really that easy overnight, right? And some of these investors, they need to be nurtured. And you got to let them know. The best advice I would say is the moment you decide that you want to place your capital outside of the U.S. is look at if where you're going to place it, can you get your money back down the road? And I already said it earlier in this, in this podcast is you have a market and you got to think, can I get out later? You're in a coastal, you're in a tourist area. I would say yes. Today, a lot of people, they don't want to be con uh, confined any longer. They, right now, uh, Carnival, all of them, they're beyond booked. They're looking for these new places. And a wellness is, if, if it projects the way I'm looking at it now, because of the recession, I really forecast that area is not going to drop. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah, that's what we're seeing. <laughs> it's, the crazy. Opposite. it's crazy, but last year was the best year in the Riviera Maya. So um, I'm totally agree with you because it's it's not only that that well um, American uh, economies are going as they are, right? And people is like looking places to have more value for their money, right? And, and I mean, here you can buy a villa four bedroom apartment with, uh, with $500,000 while in, in the U S you buy like a condo maybe with that. No. Yeah. yeah. So of course, uh, that's what I'm seeing. Like people is looking for more value for their money. Right. And you know, one other thing, Maria, that I, I, yesterday I was doing a presentation to uh, actually a few Canadians, actually. So funny, we're talking about Canada a lot. There were uh, 75 of them. And the, sometimes when they don't know about the, this market, everything may look very scary because they never heard about it. When they think of wellness, they may think, is it like um, some area where it is a retreat to feel good? Like, just giving you answers as if I never heard about it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'll share with you, if you're hearing this for the first time, meaning the wellness of, of this type of properties or assets or investments is take the leap of faith and understand first, what is that entail? Sometimes we make judgments off the first sentence, but without knowing more about it, that is where the opportunity comes. For example, uh, if I didn't listen to my friend two years ago, uh, of which he had asked me about wellness in 2019, he has already doubled his capital himself up to right now. And he, he's a really great, successful real estate person, actually in, uh, in Cabo, Cabo San Lucas. So very yeah. familiar with that. So I would say that. That so would be the main thing. Actually, actually, I'll tell you something. That's why we decide to write up, uh, and we call it the the um, the abroad intelligent um, investor guide. <laughs> yes, so I we, like that. Yeah, we we wrote a, a guide for people that doesn't have any idea about to how to invest in Mexico, and we explain step by step what what are the steps and all the process that they need to follow um but i think sometimes people is a little lazy and they don't really want to <laughs> read like 20 pages so right. that's, that's why we decide to start this space so bringing people like you that you know experts that know a lot about the 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 market and what is going on over there in the united states and here in mexico to give their their opinions about about the whole business um, trends and and the you know the, their vision about about what's going on on the real estate. So I right. really 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 grateful for having you here. 
Me and, too, Maria. And um, your opinion is also super valuable because, I mean, you are one of the big, big, big fishes over there in California. Thank you, so thank you very much. And I hope to have you soon uh, in another, in another um, chance, yeah? Yeah, Maria, I am always open for you. All right. Just let me know. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing another one. And I have some, a few ideas. I'll message you uh, at another time. Great. Looking forward for those ideas then. Thank you, Maria. You Thank have a you. good time. Enjoy you the too. sun. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.